Okay, so now it's time to polish the corner. Uh, what you need is, this is what I use, it's called Wright Silver Cream. Uh, it comes on the top like this, it's usually on the top uh, the top shelf of uh, most food lines, Kroger's, Harris Teeters, things like that. It's going to be in the laundry detergent or household cleaning things, it's just the stuff you use to clean your silverware. And it's going to come with, inside, this little thing right here, that's going to be your polisher, and that's what that stuff looks like. Um, I'm going to use just uh, regular plastic gloves. Uh, you'll want to use, you know, just to make sure you don't get fingerprints on it if you've got a show or something, um, just regular gloves. It's not going to be something that's going to hurt your skin. You might be allergic to it, but you'll find out that really quick. Uh, but anyways, I'm just going to use these because they're available. So, what you're going to want to do, and also, couple clean cloths, really clean cloths. This is what you're going to be cleaning all the stuff off with. So, as I said in the earlier video about maintaining and washing, uh, you might, after you, you know, before you grease it up, you might want to grease it up first, but uh, it's whatever you want to do. Um, and you can see the before. You can't really see it, it's not such a great camera. But, you know, it's about time. There's some tarnish on it, especially right there. On the valve. That whole black line right there is tarnish. Yep. So I'm going to try and get that off. Especially in between. These are the hardest places to get in. And they're the ones to tarnish the most. Because it's not the, uh, it's really hard to get to. Uh, anything that your hands touch are going to be really easy to tarnish. Uh, but it's been a while since I've, since I've polished this one, so it's time. And that's really bad. You can see that right there. That. That's where, she, that's where my hand's been. See? So, uh, this stuff will take complete care of that. And even uh, minor scratches and things like that will come right off. So, the thing that people are going to, you're going to really want to focus on probably the thing that everybody's going to look at, the, the out of the bell. Uh, that's what people are going to be focusing on. But you can, you know, depending on how much time you have, I don't have too much time because I've got to go to bed soon. Um, but, you know, depending on how much time you want to put into it, you can really make it look good. So, first thing you've got to do is take your applicator and you're going to want to make it damp with water. And bring out the excess. So now you've got that. And so, it's going to take a little bit. It's kind of dry, so you kind of have to get it out just like that. Not too much. And it's kind of like waxing your car. You take it, and in circles, you apply it. And you're going to want to do small parts at a time. You don't want to do the whole horn. Because what you're going to do is you're going to, it's going to dry. And you have to wait for it to dry until you can take it off. So you get it on there real good. Coat the whole bell. That's what I start with usually. And on the inside. And you can see it's already getting a lot of the dirt off, and this it's really not dirt, I just cleaned it, but that's a lot of tarnish and other outside things that are on it. Um, get a little bit more when you need to. And you really don't want to have, it's just a tiny thin layer of this stuff. You don't want to use gobs of it. I got a little too much there, but fill it in. So really this is probably, this, the lead pipe, maybe some of the slides, um, I'm not really concerned about it. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot, but, you know, like I said, depending on how much time you've got, you can really, you can do it more than once. Um, and right now I'm doing the whole thing just because I'm under a little bit of a time constraint. So I've got it pretty much coated.
kind of tough to see, but you're going to let this dry. You can see it's pretty nasty. That was white before. And so I'm going to let this dry real quick and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to take it off. 